Hello, my name is Henrik and in this tutorial I'm going to go through how text is handled in Notify. To enter text you need to switch to the text mode. When you enter text you can do so in two different ways. If you just press anywhere on the page you will enter unbounded mode which will not wrap text but will resize the text object to fit anything you enter into it. The other way is to drag out a frame. In this mode the text will wrap and fit inside the designated frame. If you press on an already existing text object that will be activated so that you can edit it. There is also a third way which is to press the text mode button again when it's already selected. If you do this a text field will be created to fit the entire page. While you are entering text you can have Notify automatically create either unnumbered or numbered bullets. You then have two buttons that can be used to control the indentation of your line. If you are in numbered bullet mode the numbers will be aware of your current indentation when it comes to generating the next number. You also have a button to either turn on or off auto correction while entering text. If you are working with a fixed size frame you can also specify left, center or right justification. There is also a special keyboard available to enter math symbols. In this view if you press and hold a key you can reorder it so the symbols you use more often can be made easier to access. You also have the option of using the right pad handwriting recognition engine which allows you to automatically convert handwriting into text. This feature is covered more in its own tutorial. Once you have written some text you can either calculate its contents by pressing the calculate button or you can translate the text to another language using the translate button. When you reach the end of the text field by default a new text object will automatically be created on the next page so that you can continue writing. This behavior can be changed in the preferences though. Finally you can change font, size, color and background by going into the normal pen and background popovers. As usual you have a list of the previously used format available on the right hand side of the dialog for quick access. Thank you for watching.